Hey everybody, T here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I got um, I got a good one too for you guys today. This is my first of my match of the week. Like I, I like I promised you when I started this. Each week I'm gonna be selecting my match of the week. And today my match of the week is from 1994 from a Monday Night Raw. Um, it's Brett the Hitman Hart versus the One Two Three Kid. This was <laughs> this was a good match. I, I I like this match. If you guys want to sit down and watch a good match, and it, of course, if you guys know Brett the Hitman Hart, one of the greatest in-ring workers of all time, and of course, one of the greatest wrestlers overall, like uh, characters of all time, Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, this was a good uh, this was a good classic Brett the Hitman Hart match. Um, not the best match of all time, but this is definitely my match of the week. Um, each week, I'm going to be giving you some good, great classic wrestling matches, and this is um, this is one for Bret Hart. This is a good Bret Hart match. Um, so here's how, how you guys would watch it first. I'll get into the breakdown of the match, but if you guys want to watch it first, those of you who have the WWE Network, this is how you would search for this match. You would go under In Ring. To Monday Night Raw, select a year. It was 1994, and it was in July, July 11th. But if you want the direct episode, it was episode 70 of Monday Night Raw. And uh, those of you who do not have Monday Night Raw, it is on YouTube. I did check that out. Uh, you could look for it, plugging in Brett the Hitman Hart versus One Two Three Kid. Um, if that didn't pop up, which it should, go ahead and put in Brett the Hitman Hart versus One Two Three Kid, 1994. It should pop up. Let's get into the breakdown of the match, shall, shall we? Okay. First of all, you know, um, this was during the time. This was probably about a few weeks, about three to four weeks before SummerSlam 1994. And if you guys remember SummerSlam 1994. It was Bret the Hitman Hart going in, into it against Owen Hart. And so at the beginning of this match, you will see Owen Hart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart come out. Um, don't worry, there's no interferences in this match. It's a classic match between Bret and 1-2-3-Kid, no interference. Um, the funny thing about this matchup is, remember, both guys were babyfaces at the time. Bret Hart and 1-2-3-Kid was a babyface, but the way Bret Hart worked in this match, it, he kind of came off as a heel. You know, even though he didn't cheat or nothing, and he was trying so hard to say, stay uh, um, a babyface in this match. The reason why I, why I say he comes off as a heel is because you'll kind of find yourself whether or not you're an X-Pac fan or not, 123Kid slash X-Pac, you'll find yourself voting for him because he is just so outmatched by Bret Hart. I mean, he is so outmatched and he has so much heart to 123Kid, kicking out of everything the Bret the Hitman Hart was doing. Um, it was a really fun match for you guys to check out. Um, you, you'll notice in this match, I mean, it kind of at first seems like Bret Hart's just hitting him with everything. You know, it kind of seemed like a jobber match at first, you know. And then the match ends uh, pretty quick at first. Um, stay with it all the way. It looks like the match is over. Bret Hart pins 1-2-3 uh, Kid for the 1-2-3. Uh, but 1-2-3 Kid's um, foot was on the rope. And Bret Hart, you know, being the good guy, you know, remember he was the baby face, uh, saying, hey, you know, his foot was on the rope. Referee came out, they restarted the match. And then that's when 1 2 3 Kid was coming up with all these near falls on Bret Hart. You know, at the time, I bet if you watch it, like, wow, I mean, is 1 2 3 Kid going to escape with the title? You know, you know, you know, he won't, but. Still, man, it came pretty close. It was a good match, and Bret Hart ends the match with his classic uh, sharpshooter right in the middle of the wing. One, two, three, kid taps out. Match is over. Bret Hart wins, and it was just a really classic. If you want to watch a good classic wrestling match with a lot of near falls and a lot of oohs and ahs, this is this this was a good match. Um, for today and the next week I'll have another great matchup for you and uh, um, let's talk a little bit I'll do profile I'll definitely do uh, eventually uh, a profile on Brett the Hitman Hart but let's quickly talk about um, since I every time I do a match of the week I'll kind of do a little quick breakdown of each wrestler in their Brett the Hitman Hart of course you know I'm gonna do a whole video on him eventually uh, Brett the Hitman Hart is one of the best 
there is um, of all time. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be his little moniker there. And um, great technician. Um, very sad how his yeah, how, how his career came to the end. If uh, the, those uh, I'm not talking about the screw job. I'm talking about his, his career and his health. How, how all that um, ended his career. You know, uh, um, those of you who didn't know, you know, it was a concussion uh, thanks to Bill Goldberg uh, by accident. You know, uh, um, Bret Hart's talked about this in many interviews and. Today, I don't know, I was watching a lot of Bret Hart matches, made me think of the 1-2-3 Kid, and that's why I selected him. 1-2-3 Kid, I'm not going to ever do a whole video review on him. I have nothing against the 1-2-3 Kid. Ironically, I just met him over the weekend, X-Pac. Uh, very nice guy. I, I actually talked to him about this match I'm actually doing the review about. You know, I... Um, I'll, I'll tell you that quick story. Um, they were having an NWO reunion uh, pretty close to me, and uh, uh, so I actually met Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Eric Bischoff, and X Pac. And um, I'll keep this X Pac really because this is what this video is about. And uh, uh, I actually told him about this match. I said, you know, I remember watching this as a kid and not remembering how good it was. And f funny story is X Pac tells me, yeah, you know, I didn't really realize how good the match was too until way later on uh, Macho Man everyone was telling him how, uh, what a great match it was you know and and with X-Pac you know it's kind of funny I mean he, he doesn't really get a lot of uh, props that I think he deserves uh, because I think his uh, um, a lot of people think because his friends were Kevin Nash and Scott Hall and Triple H that you know he was just riding his coattails. I heard a lot of stories online about X Pac about that. But if you really watch him, he uh, X Pac really was a great in ring worker. You know, but, but you know. Well, even I thought he was annoying at times, but if he took away all his little shenanigans, all his little gimmicks that he did, and just watched his in-ring work, he was a great in-ring worker. Especially when he went to WCW. I mean, if, if you're a WCW fan, man, watch some of the, uh, back when he wrestled under six, watch some of those matches. Watch some of the matches he had with Eddie Guerrero and, uh, uh, Rey Mysterio and Chris Jericho. I remember Chris Jericho and, and and Six had a good match at Halloween Havoc 1996. That's not a match of the week, but if you if if, if you want to watch some good X Pac matches, that was another one. Yeah, uh, you guys could check out. Um, I'm not gonna do a big review on that one, but that was also a great um, great match as well. But anyways, those are why I picked those two guys and. Pick the match of the week. Next week, I have a really good match for you. It's going to be uh, um, revolving Ravishing Rick Rude. I'm not going. That's all I'm going to tell you about that. I'm not going to give you the match. But my next week's match of the week is going to be involving Ravishing Rick Rude. Until then, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one.